but there was no me actually at the end of it all. I realized that there was, you know, that this character was uh, making choices to play a character, that there was actually a existential, not a crisis, but a discovery going on, you know? Jim f***ing Carey. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I see all these headlines. Jim Carrey goes insane. Jim Carrey freaks out. No, ladies and gentlemen, he is not trolling. He has not gone crazy. Jim Carrey is, as the cool kids say, woke. He is saying what Jesus, the Buddha, the gurus have said for thousands of years. We have just been too caught up in our churches, in our religions, in our material world to see this truth. A truth that is available to anybody who has the courage to stop and look. See, we have accepted the collective view of reality. But what if the collective view of reality is wrong? And what if Jim Carrey is right? We say that the sun rises, but the sun doesn't rise. The earth rotates in a way that the sun appears to come up. We say that the ocean is blue, but if I told you to go out to the ocean and bring me back a bucket of blue water, you could never do it. You could never do it because the water is clear, even though it appears to be blue. So what if we only appear to exist, but really don't? Let's find out. But Jim, you got really dressed up for the occasion. You look good. No, I Is that didn't an get accident? dressed up. I didn't get dressed up. Who did? There is no me. There's no you. No. He is saying that the me, who we take ourselves to be, the ego, the story, is just a story. It's not real. Do you believe in icons? I don't believe in personalities. I don't believe that you exist, but there is a, a wonderful fragrance in the air. Personality. Person, coming from the Greek word persona, meaning mask, is fake, and the ancients knew this. Was I didn't that an get accident? Dressed up. I didn't get dressed Who up. Who did? There is no me. There's no you. No. We're not here. This is a dream. It's just things happening. Hey, you at home watching this, are you breathing right now? Is that true? Or is breathing happening? You are seeing right now. Is that true? or is seeing happening. You may or may not be thinking right now. Is that true? Or is thinking happening? If you are the one thinking, then tell me, what is your next thought going to be? Pause this video right now and try it. Try it. Can you choose not to have thoughts arise? You can't, because thinking happens spontaneously. You are not the thinker. Thoughts happen. It is just happening, as Jim Carrey said. There is no me. There's no you. No. We're not here. This is a dream. It's just things happening. See, the ego or the I thought likes to take credit. The I thought is like that kid in class who we worked on group projects with. They didn't do anything except put their name on the paper and take credit. So likewise, the you, the I thought, doesn't really need to be there for functioning to happen. Are you the one that goes to sleep or does sleep happen? Go ahead, try to go to sleep. It is only when you let go of trying to go to sleep can you go to sleep. Are you the one who wakes yourself up or does waking up happen? Okay, so the shortest path to knowing who you are is knowing what you are not. So my first question is, can you be the subject and the object at the same time? Kind of a stupid question, right? The answer is no. What you perceive, you cannot be. Because see, there is the perceiver, and then there is the perceived. The subject and the object. For example, I perceive this phone. I cannot be this phone. I perceive this body. I am not this body. I have a car, I drive that car, but I am not that car. I never confuse myself to be the car. Well, I have a body, I drive this body, so I am not this body. Why do I confuse myself to be my body? It's my body, my body, me, and then there's body. Make sense? I perceive the voice in my head, so I cannot be the voice in my head. The voice, AKA the thoughts, come in and out of my awareness, but I remain to perceive their presence 
in their absence. I remain me. If I were the thoughts, then when they go, I would go too. But I remain because I am prior to the thoughts. So now the question is, to whom do the thoughts come? Take some time with this. Don't approach this question with the baggage society has given you. Let's find out with an open mind right here, right now. I am not giving you a belief system because belief systems are appropriately abbreviated BS. This is not dogma. If anything, this is catma. Let's find out right here, right now, what is true. Because you see, you can't get drunk from the word wine. You gotta drink it. And so you can't just listen to my words. You have to press pause and experiment with what I'm saying. Who are you? If you're not the mind, if you're not the body, what's left? Full stop, quiet the mind. This unrepeatable miracle of a moment. It's simple. The mind likes to create strategies and it always wants a complicated solution. But see, the mind is the wrong tool for this job. Who you are cannot be contained in the mind because it contains the mind. The mind can never contain it. You can know many things, but you can never mentally know the true self. You can only stay as the true self. The stillness, the beingness, the nothingness, emptiness, pure awareness, space. It is said that we mold clay into a pot, but it is the emptiness inside that makes the vessel useful. We fashion wood for a house, but it is the emptiness inside that makes it livable. Isn't it the space in between notes of music that make it beautiful? As you are reading the words on this video, didn't you overlook the space in between the words? We are the space, the nothingness, and we have overlooked the obvious. We are completely unaware of our true nature because we constantly identify ourselves as the body, as the emotions, as the thoughts. And so we lose sight of the unchanging center, which is pure consciousness. And so I just want to thank Jim Carey for being a vehicle to express this obvious, self-evident, ancient and beautiful truth. Peace. It's about not only, you know, just going with the flow, but it's about not taking it personal, you know? It's like the difference between how a house and my house is a world of difference, and it's the my that's the problem, you know? So you can do all this without the my involved, you know? You can do it uh, in a way that it's not, life isn't happening to you, it's happening for, yeah. you know, for the good of everyone. It's just a, it's like a, it's a play, it's a, it's a, it's a giant, you know, field of consciousness dancing for itself.